my dear good friend, I am happy to meet you once again here on this platform, Wake Up to Hope. It is always a pleasure and a great honor to come on your way with the Word of God. This week on Wake Up to Hope, we are looking at surrender your life unto God. I believe as a Christian, and even if you are yet to make a decision, Christianity is about coming to God in response to the message of Christ that God sent Jesus to come and die to pay for the sins of mankind. And once you accept Christ as your Lord and personal Savior, you become part of God's own family. You become a child of God. It means you have access to every good thing that God has for his people. And this week, we want to dive into this important word, surrender your life unto God. Why? Because that is what Christianity is about. Surrender your whole life to God. Let God take the preeminence and let God rule over your life for your own good and for your own progress. That is how it was made. And that is still the way of life. So if you look at the word surrender, the word surrender simply means to give up completely or agree to forgo, especially in favor of another. So in this context, to give up completely unto who? Unto God. Give your life completely unto God. Let Christ, let God be the one who leads and guides and helps you in every aspect of your life. Why? Because he created you. He knows how best you can function and function very well to your full, to fulfill your God-given destiny and also to walk in the full potential that God has planted in you. He created you. Therefore, we need to surrender our lives to God in all things. At all times, in all situations, when we do that, we will see the glory of God in our lives. So when you read the letter Paul wrote to the church in Galatians, Paul said in chapter 2 of verse 20, that is Galatians chapter 2 verse 20, he says, my old self has been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ lives in me. So I live in this earthly body by trusting in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. So Paul is saying coming to Christ is giving your whole life to Christ. Paul says, I have what? Killed the old self. In other words, I cease to exist or to live my life according to the details of my flesh. But now I have surrendered my life to Christ. I have now given my whole self to Christ so that he will become the one who will direct and lead me. Why? Because he knows the way. He knows what is best. He loved me more than I do owing unto myself. Beloved, God created us with a mind to love and to care for us. God didn't need us, but he created us for our own good. And therefore, I want to encourage you that in the light of the scripture, like Paul is admonishing us by telling us his own personal experience that he has purposed to crucify the self. It is important as a Christian that you crucify so this body will continue to crave for things, demand for things. But if we yield to the body and to the details of the flesh, the Bible says we will die. But if we give our lives wholly to Christ and allow Jesus to take his rightful place in us, beloved, it will be a good thing for us and it will serve us very well. Therefore, this week, think about how you are surrendering your life to Christ. Are you truly surrendered your life to Jesus? Is Jesus on the lead? Is the one who decides and help you to make godly decisions? What the decisions you make, who and what informs those decisions? They are very, very important. Let Christ be the center of everything. So this week, as you are pondering over this important statement, surrender your life unto God, think about these important five things. One, surrender your whole life unto God in prayer. Surrender your will unto God in obedience. Surrender your fears and desperations unto God, for he will save you. Surrender your worries and weaknesses unto God, for he cares. And surrender all your resources unto God for the growth of his children. May God bless you. May God protect you. May God be with you and guide you through the week in Jesus' name. Amen.